No, not really. I don't deal with that stuff. That is your thing. Hugo said, because it was truth. And because he noticed the Thira's longing and he decided to have fun for a while. Thira got a little annoyed. He was on the runaway of the showing off, about to open her wings and fly, and she had to nest again. But it was not a blow that destroyed her. It was a blow that motivated her. It uncovered to her one more charm. The inaccessibleness. He wasn't, but she thought he was. Oh, it's right. She apologized. I didn't know about this until now, too. About the place, do you mean? Hugo asked, imposing an affirmative answer. Yes, sure. About the place and about you. She replied because she could notice the longing, too. And in that moment, it began a hard bargaining between them. A sensational competition between two exaggerated egos. Something they made sure of doing in private. He because of his girlfriend. She to avoid other woman got him before her. Frank was in that moment the accomplice the two of them needed. He was the one who brought and carried the information from one to the other. And from the other to the one. And, in the meanwhile, he climbed positions. He liked Sal. They got on well. And a part of his insecurities, he hasn't bigger faults. But he wasn't sure it was really love. He cultivated their friendship. He went to the party because one girlfriend of Aniko's friend invited him. It attracted his attention the interest they had on finding a boyfriend for Sal. His friend had told him it was a birthday party and the more the better. But it didn't took long to be known they were searching for a man for Sal. He was nice. They exchanged glances, but Sal was watching out for Hugo instead for him. So he changed his target. He took three things out of the party. One incredible night with an interesting man, a future sal to share expenses with, and a target. He worked for the others. He was, at that time, part of the contacts team. He played, during the first years of the yellow government, an important role taking away wanted people. Some of the right government, some not very advisable, but who knows if it was the right thing. However, even taking the people he had to deal with into account, even taking it all into account, that unknown man was receiving more attention than him. They had never organized a party for nothing, They didn't look for a boyfriend when he felt abandoned. Not a sporadic boy that filled all his needs. But that Sal they didn't know at all got all their kindness. After that night, with the calm his character gave him, looked for Sal in every post office. He spent an entire day thinking about who write to until he realized he could write to himself. Three were the post office he remembered. He knew Sal didn't work in the nearest to his home because had all the stuff under control. And even though he went there, he wasn't lucky in the other two either. None of the counter guys was Sal. He thought it might be a misunderstanding. Maybe the party didn't have nothing to do with what they said. He forgot the issue until he met his friend again. Hey, I don't know. They told me it was a birthday party. The friend said pretending. Let's see, I'm not telling you off. Do you know who is the guy? 
Frank asked. I don't know. He told me Hugo wanted to find a boyfriend for him, and I thought of you, his friend said. But in my defense, I must say, I asked before if he was hot. No, I'm not complaining. It's that I like him. That's why I'm asking, Fran dropped. His friend, why opened her eyes, very pleased. She thought she had done something right and let everything she knew out. Nico told us the so-called Sal was needy and he didn't concentrate. Hugo had the feeling that he got a crush on him and he didn't want him to suffer, the friend explained. Not half. He didn't take his eyes off him in the whole night, Fran said. I know. I saw it, but as he got lucky, his friend said. And what has he so important to get all that care? Frank asked. It seems he works for the post service, the girl explained. Which office? Frank took advantage. You really like him, don't you? Don't go to his work. Don't mess up. She warned. No. What are you thinking? That I'm a stupid fool? Frank got offended, even though he really had thought of going to his work. 